Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Welcome to The Art Friend Show. Here's an artist you're gonna love to know. Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and I'm an artist in Portland, Oregon, going live 100 days in a row to create The Art Friend Show where we get to know our creativity and each other. I've been an artist and I've been teaching art to adults for 20 years and I have a new offering called Art Friends School. It is a monthly membership where I'll be teaching a class every single week on different topics that empower you with real skills like drawing skills, understanding of like the foundational things of visual art, as well as the more um, nuanced things like showing up and being visible on behalf of your art, um, how to build community and connection and an art practice for longevity, etc. I'm really excited about Art Friends School. It's definitely um, being carried by this project of the Art Friends Show as my mission in the world for the next decade. If you want to come join me in Art Friends School, I'd love to have you. And um, without further ado, we have a really special guest today. She has been a uh, she signed up for her interview right at the beginning of the project, has been really um, touched by this idea, and I really love the spirit of this conversation because we get to know each other right here live on air, and I uh, can't wait to share more of her with you. So without further ado, I'm going to invite her on here. There you are. Oh. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm so happy so here today. Can you tell everyone your name, where you live, and then we'll get to talking about your art? Sure, yes. My name is Melinda Walters. I also go by Mia, and I um, have a, started a website, Muse, Muse Dreams, and I've been um, working on a few things, paintings, uh, Oracle deck, yeah. the Quantum Legacy Oracle deck, and um, another free offering I'll talk about too a little bit later, um, Yay. kind of based on oracles as well. Very, very cool. Yeah. So we were prepping a little bit before this interview and you have these, um, you call them a muse box. Let's start there. Can we show and tell one of your muse boxes? Sure, sure. I have a couple of them here. Um, here's one that I kind of like the cover or the lid. It says, live your dream mm -hmm. or your story, your story. Yeah. And it's kind of a, a free offering to create like a beautiful decorated box like this that also has inside some little oracle cards that are kind of to woo your muse, so to speak, whenever mm -hmm. you might be wanting some ad additional inspiration as an artist or, yeah. um, you know, sometimes our inner critic gets us down and, um, you know, it can be like little affirmations, but there are the cards like this one says, I claim that my creativity matters. Right. Um, you know, the, back says take five minutes to breathe and meditate mm -hmm. some of these are dares they're dares hey you know what? i'm gonna pause this has never happened before but it looks like there's a spam account viewing the live so i'm just gonna kick them out oh, okay. um it's like even it's even called spam in the name <laughs> xxx spam <laughs> <laughs> there's a first on day 75 of the show <laughs> um <laughs> So, so these cards that are inside of your muse boxes, you were talking about how mm -hmm. some of them are a dare, some of them are more like an affirmation. What, so how long have you been making these and what's the process like of creating them? Um, well, that's a really good question on how long I've been making them. Um, gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> thought about that. Um, maybe the past year or so. Yeah. Um, but they're, the Oracle cards themselves are on watercolor paper, yeah. or you could do 
mixed media paper. I like watercolor paper because it's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. And I, the way I do them, and they're they're kind of fun in the way you can use any kind of mediums you want. Um, acrylic, I usually just use acrylic because that's what I paint like on canvas mm -hmm. with typically. So I use it kind of as watercolor and decoupage. So I'll you know add a little bit of you know like an image, or I'll even paint paint an image so this is like a decoupaged image um the back is too cool. and then just permanent ink um and I just cut them like I have little postcard sized watercolor paper I cut in half yeah. or I can make them even you know full size that yeah. or you can tear it kind of with the deckled edge however you want to do it it's pretty yeah pretty open that way. Do you have a class that guides people through making these? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's it's a free offering on my website, um, right on the homepage at musedreams.com. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up for it there. And I go through most of, you know, decorating the box. Obviously, you can keep going with that and add all that you want to it. Um, here's another one that I made that's rad. Yeah. A little bit this one's got the uh kind of the this this um archetype of this jaguar or leopard yeah the spots yeah. i had you kind of them on there journey. so yeah, can I you talk about this like it feels very like you know peruvian rainforest have you have you gone on a on a journey or tell me about this leopard yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I did go on like um several journeys and going on one to kind of meet a spirit animal was this kind of a rainforest jaguar and um so it's kind of been one of those archetypes that stuck with me and is kind of like a spirit animal this painting has taken on kind of that feel of kind of the Pacamama, um, these, I don't know if you can see, like the lines are become vines, kind mm -hmm. of like the ayahuasca vines mm -hmm. um, to kind of bridge the world. I'm not really sure where all of that's coming from, other than I am pretty sure that's probably going to be a journey I'm going to be taking at some point in the future, just the way things kind of allowing. Um, that's a guess. I don't know. But I've just been channeling this, um, <clears throat> this painting for a few months, and just thought I'd bring it here with us on the live just um, as kind of a guardian. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's feels very much both of them feel very much like they're in between the worlds, so to speak, kind of um, holding space in the dream time and in this time and space, so, wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I'm fascinated by, um, you know, like trusting your instincts of, of which of your many creations to share at this, at this like moment you step into visibility and tell your story a little bit and yeah. curious, like when did you become Muse Dreams lady? You know, like when did you become <laughs> Muse Dreams? Yeah, well, I, yeah. Um, Officially, it was February of last year, I got mm -hmm. a domain and then, you know, brought all of that um, to the, you know, kind of the cyberspace world or whatever. Yeah. Um, the thought of it has, you know, I've studied dreams um, as kind of like a dream teacher. Mm -hmm. I studied through a teacher named Robert Moss, who does um, a three level teacher training in like facilitating um workshops around dreaming and yeah. then i've studied intentional creativity um i've studied you know just um painting and and, and all of that throughout the years just for nourishing my own soul mm -hmm. um and it was kind of one of those things in the last few years where I'm kind of transitioning into a different part of my life mm -hmm. as my kids grow up and it feel it feels like that time in my life that I'm ready to kind of share these gifts and mm -hmm. help facilitate 
dreaming and healing and art and healing and yeah. helping people kind of liberate that creativity so they don't have to feel like they need to be a professional artist or anything like that to be creative you know That's and uh yeah um which i know that you do too yeah <laughs> i mean i think like we're there's there's a bunch of us called to be a catalyst for creativity mm -hmm. for people it's definitely um like something i do whether i like it or not like constantly and yeah. I, love, I love that you're like you just took a trip to Germany and your daughters are uh, 19 and 24, right? So how yeah, was it to be, yeah. I, I hope you don't mind, I'm like kind of cheekily calling you Muse Dreams Lady, just cause like yeah, yeah. the embodiment of it. How was it to go <laughs> like to Europe and go to these, you know, devastating and extravagant historical sites as like, as this claimed embodied voice of your Muse Dreams like artist healer woman what did, what was that like yeah it was um really intense actually um uh, but it was really good as far as kind of a concept i've been working with recently is kind of like a quantum legacy and thinking about mm. how we can heal the past through mm. dreams and through the present moment and we can go into the past through our dreams mm. we can heal those past experiences even on an ancestral level in that dream time as a present moment mm -hmm. and so we can come back then to the present moment now because it's the mm -hmm. only thing that we have is right now yeah. and it was kind of bridging those worlds there too of mm -hmm. all of kind of the you know the devastation of history and and even going back to like medieval history we, we went to a crime and punishment museum which wow people were brutal to each other yeah. and we still I just, are oh yeah absolutely um in, in quite unusual ways that i never never knew until i learned about it there mm -hmm. and so it's just reinforced what i you know kind of the mission i've had with a new workshop i'm doing um called quantum legacy and i have a an oracle deck too mm -hmm. to kind of heal that past mm -hmm. and to create the future mm -hmm. in the dream time and through art so that it's impacting us as a collective it's impacting you know us as individuals mm -hmm. and i think by doing that kind of work we can affect you know the next seven generations mm -hmm. and that's happening now too so yeah. what we do now is mm -hmm. happening in the future and it can be healing the past. Yeah. I don't know I, if that makes sense. <laughs> no, it totally does. I mean, you know, there's like my ability, my like limited human yeah. Yeah. filtering Same. system of like trying to comprehend things like this. But I think it is an interesting idea to think about like how time is relative and how like possibly our current like linear understanding of time is just like flat world theory used to be and like mm -hmm. your 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 perception of like that it could ripple out across past and future what we do cause and now and shoot i'd really like to think that because <laughs> it gives me hope so exactly yeah. yeah yeah that's fascinating um what's next for you with your art like what's 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 coming up or what are you speaking yeah in now yeah well i I do have currently, you know, the free offering of the Muse Box. I'm working on a workshop that's going to be released very soon online. And mm -hmm. then, um, it, you know, it will be also, um, you know, a, a Facebook group so that it can be interactive with people who are going through it. Um, You're doing you know, the thing. Huh? Doing the thing. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. And so it's all about that concept of the quantum legacy and we yeah. kind of bridge our past, heal the mm -hmm. past. Um, so kind of like trans temporal healing and then create our future mm -hmm. in the now. So, mm -hmm. and then we, we create an archetypal being sort of like this mm -hmm. during the process. And then this Oracle deck, these are just mm -hmm. photos of it. It's going to be coming soon. Um, I'll have a pre-order up very soon for that. Um, I'm shooting for uh, fall because mm -hmm. it's getting pretty close to being done. I just have to kind of, you know, 
download all of the meanings of each of the cards. They all kind mm -hmm. of have sort of that visual um, meaning that comes as they're being birthed. Some of them don't. Some of them mm -hmm. I'm just creating the art and I'm like, what is this going to be? I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. And then it reveals itself later. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see that. Amazing. Um, it's one of the cards. And um, so cool. yeah, so those will be all coming up very soon and then the, nice. the free offering is available now for anybody yeah look at you it's awesome it's so fun to meet you and get to see yeah. some of what you create and hear your hear your own personal like call to say this is your moment in time you've raised your kids up there's a, like there's a legacy there's a legacy moment available for you and, and you're doing it yeah it's really yeah. cool yeah it's um you know, to kind of touch a little bit on what you do to help encourage artists. It, it's been a lot of doing it scared and, you know, mm -hmm. being supported and encouraged by art friends along Yay. the way. So thank you. I'm so, so <laughs> glad. Yeah. I'm, if I can do anything with my professional, you know, impact, I just, I want to set artists into motion or help you take the next steps. Cause I, like everything to me just boils down to like continuing like we just we all travel through our doubt and fear and imposter syndrome and shadow and then we like keep going and we get back you know you create an oracle deck and you create an online course and you believe in yourself and you come on a show and then like you keep going and then your ego like hits a wall and you're back in your fear and your imposter syndrome and your doubt but you're like at a different place then we just keep going. And yeah. I think my job is to just be like, here's some Gatorade, take the next step. This is normal. Go for it. You know, as we, as we do. Yeah. It's, that's such a fabulous soul work to have, to help, you know, kind of foster and care for artists along the way um, in their path. Cause it is sometimes a little tender <laughs> to me. It's but. so tender. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do it cause I need it. You know, I, I, I walk through that all the time. When I was doing this um, big afternoon last Thursday of, of like clarifying the vision for our art friend school with my friends, they have this massive spiral staircase in the middle of their house. And I was like, dude, I'm gonna come back and film a video that encapsulates like the, the, that thing. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, I don't know, like I, I, I've, yeah, I'm liberated myself from my own imposter syndrome by you and then like you're on the show and it's just like this awesome yeah synergy so yeah I climb in the, the spiral yeah the spiral <laughs> as we do mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. well thank you lovely to get to connect with you yeah, yeah um, you too anyone watching I invite you to go on and just love her up encourage make a muse box with the course um, you know, do you, do you, do you do readings? Like, do you work as a healer? Do you offer that service? Um, as well as well, I do. I have never offered it as a, you know, from a professional capacity, mm -hmm. just for friends, but mm -hmm. you know, you never know what might happen, especially as I create this deck, I feel so connected to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. that might be something. Be cool. Yeah. I know Letty Jane. Letty Jane. Do you know Letty Jane? She's an Portland artist. Look her up. I she created like a tarot deck and then also does readings and like yeah. a bajillion other things. I think it's that can be really powerful too. I, I have no idea if you want to do services, but yeah. Something to find. Oh, yeah. There's mm -hmm. there's all the things. I, I just like love that kind of thing and definitely mm -hmm. um, love to, to get readings. So mm -hmm. yeah. And it, yeah. it, it's very impactful for me, you know, just from a meditative and kind of connection to spirit and like um, all of that kind of, you know, the spirit animals and the journeying and all of that helps me along my path to just kind of mm -hmm. navigate. Mm -hmm. things, so. Yeah, I think it's like, you know, there's a there's a lot of paths. There's a lot of paths to our awakening and like going to the jungles of Peru or like, yeah. you know, <laughs> straight up like meditation or like you know actually practicing our humanity and our art there's many many ways and um it's interesting to see how it's coming out with you and i'll be curious to watch you kind of wink at you across the internet as you continue to evolve same yeah i i 
uh, I've been enjoying so much watching all the interviews. Well, all that I can. That's quite well, good. Watch an hour long piece of content every day. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely even like fit this into my life. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's the best. It's the best. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna um, be so excited when it's like on an actual podcast platform, so you can kind of more easily navigate and pause it, and it can show you which ones you watch. So yeah, Keep that vision for it, me. I I mm -hmm. definitely have it and I'm waiting and anticipating it because I yeah. will be for sure a listener. Good, <laughs> good, good. We're going to do it somehow, some way. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's wrap this one up. Thank you again. And um, yeah, just yeah. all the best to you. Yeah. And I'll, I'll write a little caption here and I'll post it. And then um, congratulations. You did your interview. So much. <laughs> and and for everything you're doing to support all of us artists. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's, yeah, it feels good to be like living my purpose. Um, I'm excited to see where, where we go from here. Yeah. It's going to be with that symbol of that spiral staircase, I can only imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye for now. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com. 